Hey, it's Lloyd Lofton here with another episode of Power Behind the Sales. Today, I want to introduce you to a topic that we're going to talk about over the next few days. And it's a topic that encompasses a whole bunch of problems that we as sales professionals run into every day. I recently completed this series for a, a client company, and the responses I got back is, I used to do that. I can't believe others feel this way. I didn't know that that was a problem other people had. These problems that we're going to talk about and what I call them are the 10 most common mistakes salespeople make. And make no mistake about it. If you're in sales in any way, that means if you are selling yourself, your company, your product, or your brand, then you are a sales professional. Whether you're on the floor at Target, Amico, or you're answering phones in a call center, whether you're with customer care, agent services, you're selling not only your brand, but you're selling the people that you're working with and you're talking to on the value that you bring to the table and you're selling them on the importance of their business to you. You're selling them on the fact that you actually think they matter. You're selling them on the idea that while they may be upset, while they may recognize they have a problem, while they may be frustrated, while they may even deny that they want to solve a problem, you're selling them on the idea that you're there to listen, you're there to listen to understand, and you're there to provide solutions and counseling to them. So regardless of what your role is in sales, and almost everything that we do in business is sales, you are a sales professional. But what does that actually mean? That whether we're doing face-to-face -face or we're doing on the phone or even those chat bots, what does that actually mean? Sales is about problem solving. We actually think, most salespeople actually think that our job is to sell a product or a service. When in reality, our job is to sell the problem that people have and then do that in a way where they ask us how to solve that problem. In reality, you're not a salesperson, you're a problem solver. In fact, if you are a salesperson, this is exactly why people many times don't like the salesperson. And it's not that they don't wanna solve the problem they have, it's not that they don't wanna feel like that there's a way out of this, it's not that they don't wanna eliminate the challenges they're facing, it's not that they don't wanna block the problems affecting their everyday life. It's not that they don't want to save money, reduce their costs, increase their benefits. That's not what, what really is going on. The problem is that people just, they just don't want to be sold. And I understand, I agree with them. I don't want to be sold either. But all that's simple, right? I mean, it sounds really simple. Then here's the question for us. Then why do salespeople not hit their quota? If we know this, if you've been nodding your heads, yes, I know, yes, I know then why do we not hit our quota? How come we don't make the income that we say we wanna make? You know, my principle, my guiding light, the whole reason that I'm in, involved in coaching and working with salespeople and sales organizations is I have an inherent belief that every salesperson, every salesperson should be making $100,000 a year. And let's break that down. When I say $100,000 a year, what am I talking about? I'm talking about $8,333 a month. I'm talking about $2,100 a week. I'm talking about $400 a day. I believe that should be the minimum that every salespeople make, salespersons make. I think if you go in sales, that's exactly what you should want to make as a minimum. I think every organization that hires a salesperson should have that as their goal for their salespeople. I think their sales methodology, their training, support, the product, the commission, the renewals, the the streaming income, the reoccurring revenue, all that should total $100,000 a year for salespeople. So what are those 10 most common mistakes? That's what we're gonna talk about over the next few weeks. We're gonna, the next few days, we're gonna talk about the 10 most common mistakes every salesperson make and embedded in that talking about the 10 most common mistakes every salesperson make. We're also gonna embed in there how some of the issues that the sales organization and how they contribute to these 10 most common mistakes. 
So when I say some of the issues, I mean, some of the principles, some of the ways the sales organization coaches, trains, supervises, incentivizes their salespeople contributes to the 10 most common mistakes salespeople make. And as we go through each of these 10 most common mistakes salespeople make, I'm going to tell you exactly how you should solve that. Now, that doesn't mean that you're going to do it. Even if you are motivated to do it, even when you hear it and you get emotionally buy into this and you go, yeah, that's me. Yeah, that's me. And I show you an answer to that. That doesn't mean it's going to stop. Because the mistakes we make are more out of habit than intent. In other words, we engage in a behavior that by the definition of that behavior tends to shoot us in the foot. It tends to be the very block. It tends to be that roadblock. It tends to be that bump in the road. You know how you go through a neighborhood and they've got those speed bumps on there? And sometimes you go in a neighborhood and the speed bumps are really high and you go, whoa, my God, I can't believe they made it that big. Sometimes we don't recognize the speed bump that we're put in our own in, in the way of our own success is bigger and impacts our success more than we realize it does. I truly believe every salesperson should make $100,000 a year. That is $8,333 a month, $2,100 a week, $2,100 a week, $400 a day. And I think every salesperson should make that. And over the next few days, we're going to talk about the 10 most common mistakes salespeople make. I'm going to show you exactly how not to make them. So make sure you click on subscribe below here on the YouTube channel. Click on that little alarm so that every time we pop a video in there, you get notified for it. When you get noticed that the video is on there, take some thinking and planning time. We're going to take a deep dive in each of these 10 most common mistakes salespeople make. Have a notepad with you and a pen with you. Put your phone on mute and focus on the free training that you're going to get. The 10 most common mistakes salespeople make. You're not alone. We all make it. And I'll see you on the other side.